Namaste. Let's start with a question. How many of you own a high-end medical diagnostic device? Well, that's not surprising. And the reason for that is that these devices are bulky, complicated. To screen for cataract, you have to use a slit lamp. And this device hasn't changed for several decades. To scan my retina, now this is a quarter million dollar device, but check out the user interface. <laughs> the nurse has to shove my head to align with an eyepiece. And to get prescription for eyeglasses, I'm lost in a foropter. Now, this may sound funny, and these are perfectly valid solutions in developed countries, but in developing countries, millions of people are suffering from conditions that otherwise have proven solutions. So how about this? We have a solution called Netra, which is a clip-on eyepiece that goes on top of a cell phone. You look through it, there'll be some patterns, you align them by using the keyboard of the cell phone, and when they're aligned, you hit calculate, and it gives you data for prescription of your eyeglasses. It can, it can screen for your nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism, which is the cylinder. The, the, the eyepiece cost next to nothing, just a few hundred rupees, and the results are comparable to the highest end instruments. Now, there are two billion people worldwide who need eyeglasses, but more than half a billion people don't have them. And the numbers in India alone are amazing. More than 200 million people who need eyeglasses don't wear them, which means they have not just blurry vision, but children don't go to school, which leads to illiteracy, and grown-ups cannot earn livelihood that leads to unemployment and poverty. So this is a major social and economical issue. But they do have cell phones. In fact, there are more cell phones than toothbrushes. So, so think about that. Now, there are two pieces to the puzzle to provide eyeglasses. There is diagnostics and there is dispensing. And what's been happening on the dispensing side is that the cost of the eyeglasses have come down so dramatically. And here's a person in, uh, in Mumbai on the, on the right who can sell eyeglasses, including frames and lenses, for less than $3. And everything in the chain, everything, everybody in the pipeline still makes money. But the challenge is that on the diagnostic side, it still requires experts, expensive equipment, and, and that makes it very, very challenging. So what's the principle behind this? If you take the highest end device that you would use before doing a LASIK surgery, it's called a shock hormone wavefront sensor. Uh, and this is a device where you shine laser into your eye, and a very sophisticated device takes a picture of how the laser is reflecting out of your eye. Pretty fancy stuff. Uh, and at the camera culture group, which I lead at uh, MIT Media Lab, this is the kind of stuff I like. You know, I build this multi-million dollar solutions for some of the most complicated problems. You know, we're building camera that runs at a trillion frame per second to watch photons in motion. Or we are creating CAT scan machines that are extremely portable. Or we're creating glasses-free 3D displays. But often, I can take all that complexity, the math, the optics, the theory behind it, to come up with something that's as simple as this. So what's going on here? Why are we able to do this? This Netra, uh, by the way, I hope you realize Netra, of course, means eye in Sanskrit, but turns out also conveniently stands for a near eye tool for refractive assessment. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> so uh, Netra is actually inverse of the shock heard one wavefront sensor for previous surgery consultation, except we are changing the path. Instead of a sensor, we have a display, and you look through this and align the patterns, and number of clicks it takes you to bring those patterns into alignment from different directions tells us your refractive error, the power of your lenses. Okay, so it's very straightforward, and during the break, you know, we'll all do eye tests for you. I will have the device out there for you, so you can try it out. <clears throat> and, this technique is 
possible today, but it wasn't possible even two or three years ago. And the reason for that is the, the cell phone makers are making displays extremely high resolution. And why is that? Because all of you want to watch high definition content, cricket matches and movies on your cell phone. Thanks to that, the pixel pitch on your cell phone display is down to 25 micrometers, which is half the width of a human hair. And at that resolution, we can start using the screen of your mobile phone as a scientific device, okay? So please go and watch more HD content because the more you watch, the more the technology will improve and we can disseminate that in a, in a social setting. And uh, thanks to the uh, portability and, and cost, we got a tremendous response. And within a few months, we were running, we were working with NGOs in over a dozen countries. You know, we were writing uh, papers in the geekiest of academic journals and so on. And remember, children can have a decent shot at education if you can treat Netra as a thermometer for an eye to continue to measure your ch change in, in refractive error. Or for a day labor, it's very important to be able to function and, and, and keep track of that. So for education and employment, it's very critical, but often you just want to watch Ronaldinho kick that soccer goal on TV uh, very well as well. So that was all going very well, but we, we, it, we reached a blank because we had this radical technology, but how do people eventually get eyeglasses? And so we realized very soon that simply working in the way of just disseminating our, our technology is not going to work. So what we did over the summer is we crisscrossed the globe, and here's my colleague, uh, David Shafran, uh, who crisscrossed across India in several cities, and you, we worked with a lot of people. We worked with highly reputed eye care organizations, such as our collaborator, Alvi Prasad Eye Institute. We talked to people on the street. We talked to people who own optical stores. We talked to people who make eyeglasses and grind them. And of course, we talked to the customers. And after going through that whole process, we realized there's an amazing opportunity to do social good by actually spinning out a venture. So we have already spun out a venture called inetra.com, and we continue to add, and we continue to look for additional funding and experienced team members right here in Mumbai, as well as worldwide. And meeting this woman outside Hyderabad was a turning point because we realized these micro-entrepreneurs have the ability to take technology and disseminate it and scale it in ways unimaginable. Now, you all know about App Store. You all download software on your smartphones from your App Store. Now, what's going on here? We're talking about a hardware App Store, right? Where we're going to create this very low-cost snap-ons that connect with your phone and give you some amazing functionality for health, or education, for productivity. So here's a new challenge. We want to create mobile mates for health. Amazing attachments that can allow us to take affordable diagnostics everywhere. What else can we do with such mobile mates? So our collaborator said, okay, eyeglasses or refraction is the second leading cause of preventable blindness, but the leading cause is cataract or motibindu. So we went back to the lab, and after doing some experiments by ripping off off-the-shelf components, we actually came up with a solution for screening cataracts as well. So in the break, we'll screen for your cataracts as well. And why start with the eye when we talk about mobile mates? Because eye is mirror of your health. Many systemic diseases, such as hypertension, diabetes, metabological conditions, infections, and so on, have ocular manifestation in your eye. And turns out your eye is also the only place where we can look at your blood vessels non-invasively. So there's a real opportunity to start with the eye as a first diagnostic solution. So refraction, cataract, retinal imaging, mobile mates for health, if I give you the right mobile mate for your smartphone, how many of you will have a high-end 
medical diagnostic equipment. Excellent. Now, that's not surprising either. So we have an opportunity to join this revolution and think about how we can bring mobile mates and think about how we can create affordable diagnostics for the next generation. So join the revolution by becoming an ambassador at inetra.com. Join as designers, technologists, social workers, and entrepreneurs to create the solutions for the world by leapfrogging the same way landlines have leapfrogged. We can't expect hospitals and clinics to reach the millions and hundreds of millions the same way they have in the Western countries. So we have to leapfrog around that. So I want you to join that revolution, and Netra is the beginning. Thank you. Thank you.